Hey, guys, here. So, season three is tomorrow. We also have the playoff promo, but the EA says they're going to reveal that tonight on their MCS because they got to, you know, bring us to that to watch it for some reason um, since we won't watch it on our own. Usually, we do it for free cards, but uh, I think this time's free card. Jonathan Taylor isn't that great. Uh, but you know what is great? Our sponsor today, Rock, Rock Bottom, Bottom Coins. Coins is the number one place to get your Madden coins. If you make coins for my videos, sell them to Rock Bottom. If you're buying, use my code GUTBOX for 10% off. All right, so, Field Pass Rewards. Um, a lot of coins, which is nice. Which, like, people argue with me, that, like, FIFA's made easier to, you know, grind for stuff. And I'm like, I mean, we get so many free coins. Just for playing seasons games and stuff and grinding at this. But let's not get in a, a FIFA Madden debate this early. I don't want to fight soccer players. Luckily, they can't punch because they're legally not allowed to use their hands. So that's why we always beat the shit out of them in high school. So anyways, we have, as you see there, the big one, the 98 overall player item. And it is pretty spectacular. Otherwise, it's pretty standard, right? We got season four XP token, that kind of stuff um strategy uh, new strategy items are coming tomorrow too new legendary ones uh for d line i think they saw said uh they, that one was called sprinter and i'm a little concerned about something called sprinter after our awful awful experience with stuff like sprinter in the past okay so anyways otherwise pretty standard right i'll go through some of the player items um shout out to mikey for having them uh, but anyways Number one, Carl Banks. You can upgrade them with collectibles, level 22, level 37. And then he looks like this. 94 overall, Carl Banks. He is a giant, a New York giant. Not an actual real-life giant. That'd be kind of cool to get Andre in here, though. He was always fun. He'd stop eggs. I know he would. He'd also smack dudes. That guy. Unless Hulk Hogan was there, then he'd get body slammed. I'm off the topic. Carl Banks. Is he money in the bank? He's all right. No finesse move, but, uh, you know, I prefer my guys on the edge to have finesse move, personally. Power move, I feel like, is better for the interior. Now, I don't have any backing up like that. I just see what moves they throw on the edge sometimes, and it's generally finesse. But uh, I don't know if there's any difference as far as statistically. He gets out my way. Um, Out my way, 1 AP. No outsiders, I think you wanted to say there. Double or nothing, 1 AP. Edge threat, 1 AP. So... Like, I feel like pass rushers got severely nerfed when edge threat and secure protection became everywhere. Um, level 31 is Blitnikov with short in, short out, and wide receiver apprentice. This is a fairly solid receiver. Obviously, we got our our stock Raider card. We always have to have a Raider card every single content drop. Just makes sense to me, right? No Steelers, of course. Sorry, another day of no Steelers. Hold yourselves, Tony Danzes. Um, uh, so, yeah, there's Blitnikov. Probably not going to be super meta. We then have Ed Reed, Acrobat Pick Artist. Film study for 2AP is disgusting, right? Uh, film study shouldn't be an ability of the game, right? Film study basically, after three plays in a quarter, you can see what plays are running on offense. And uh, that, I can't tell you like how powerful it is. Uh, obviously, the offense can always audible once they see the film study. Like I use film study for 5AP, and it was good. Uh, the only reason why I think film study is good is that it helps you beat bad players that spam plays over and over. Uh, but most good players will see that the film study is active and change their play, okay? Now, the one thing about film study is, like, sometimes when you're holding right trigger when they change your play, you can see them what they change it to. But I still think it's awful. I still think, like, anything where, like, you know, Bill Belichick, you know... It, 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 there were, like, suspensions and fines for that, right? I don't know about... Did he get suspended? They got fined for sure. I don't know if Belichick got suspended for that. You know, they, they they tried to catch him on the deflated balls thing a few years later once they realized the full extent of deflate gate. Or not... No, sorry. Of spy gate. Then they screwed him for deflate gate as their only way of making it up. And then they went on to win the Super Bowl that year, so they really did nothing at all to the Patriots for spy gate, which was awesome. Um, Ed Reed, of course, gets another great card. They love Ed Reed. He gets tons of cards all the time. Last year, I think we had 17 total Ed Reed cards. I'm not joking. Go look it up on my.gg. Uh, we won't get an Ed Reed card probably again for a couple months when his 99 comes out. So we're safe for now from Ed Reed soiling every single program with a card. But uh, yeah, he looks way too powerful of a film study for 2AP. That should not that should not have been discounted at all. That's stupid. All right. The level 51. 
He gets all team chems and two times team chem for there. He gets two X factors that he can um, equip. Vanguard's really good. I never really use X factors, guys. Think of them as like uh, distractions. You know, if you put this guy in kickoff and do that, do, do the uh, caveman glitch, which is put caveman and click off, uh, kickoff, and then activate him and other people. Maybe this is gonna be crazy. Um, uh, red zone threat, mid end, short end, tank, slotomatic, deep end. You got a pow. So here's the regular one. But then you like, or sorry, here's the regular one. And then you power him up to this one for 95 speed. So Gronk is going to be a very impactful tight end. And remember, after the Super Bowl, you can put this guy in with a couple others, get another 99 card. So we'll find out about that in, you know, a month when the Super Bowl ends. But yeah, I don't have to tell you how crazy this card looks. It looks incredibly crazy. Plus they gave him, like, like I said, all these other, like, you know, bonus uh, zero AP abilities, team chems. Although you're still probably running the legends team chem. All right, still, still, still probably that. Um, season three, we sadly didn't get a TVP announcement. We sadly didn't get. Uh, um, I don't know if Reduxes are coming. Right? We don't know if team builders are coming. So the few things that kind of left off on tomorrow, we're getting playoff content, so we might not get those things. Um, the market. Hopefully you guys follow my hopefully you guys follow me on Twitch. Right? If you're not listening to me on Twitch, there was a huge glitch yesterday. We were pulling um uh, week sixteen to seventeen team of the week cards. Like limited. I pulled a limited out of the ninety ninety one exchange bag. Again. Uh that glitch was back in. So please follow on Twitch. Um, otherwise, I tweeted it out once we discovered it on Twitch. Because um, somebody sent me a tweet. Be like, yo, check that out, dude. It's like, oh, wow, that's crazy. So, yeah. I don't know what happens with the training market tomorrow. Um, uh, there'll probably be a playoff role. They're going to go over it tonight. We'll know more tonight. As for now, market looks steady. Coins are always king. I got to sell some of these Team of the Week cards that I bought yesterday for gameplay. Um, and get back above $20 million to be a real streamer. Uh, I waste way too many cards every way too many coins every week lol um yeah i i guess we'll see i guess we'll see what else they reveal for tomorrow um and that's all i want to say about that i'm trying i'm trying to see if there's anything else i'm missing i don't think so i'll see you guys later on bye